things to define in order to be a successful freelancer. In order to have a successful freelance business, there are multiple things that you first need to define. You cannot just open your laptop and start a freelance business on the spot. You need to do a little planning first. This presentation will guide you through the elements of your freelance business that you need to outline before you begin. This will give you a solid foundation for your work and will help you succeed. Firstly, you need to define what your big picture goals for your life are. This will help underpin the remainder of your business. You need to think about what you want to do with your life. While this may seem extreme, it will help with the decision-making process for the remainder of the business planning phase. What are your big picture goals for life? You need to think about the hours that you want to work, the location that you want to work in, and the level of stress you want to undertake, as you will now be in control of, well, everything. You can model attributes of your freelance business based on your ideal life. Think about the level of work you want. There is no use signing on to long, ongoing projects if that's not the work you would prefer. If you want shorter-term clients because you work better that way, then by all means, structure your business to suit this. If you would prefer to work fewer hours, then do so. Just make sure you can support yourself financially first. Secondly, you need to define and understand what your service will be, and then, if possible, define it down to a smaller niche. What kind of brand or business do you want to create? And what do you want to do with your service? You do not have to define your niche outright, however. It should be something that you consider doing once your business has grown. There are numerous kinds of freelance work available. Find one that suits your skills and experiences and make that your brand. More importantly, however, it needs to be something that you enjoy doing and that you are passionate about. There is no use becoming a freelancer if you're not going to enjoy the work. Once you have determined your overall service, if possible, try and define it down to more of a niche. This will make you seem more professional and specialized. Thirdly, you need to define what your expectations for a client are. Outline clearly what your responsibilities will be and how you will interact with your client. Sometimes clients can be demanding and occasionally, they try to take advantage of you. Make sure they know that the relationship between you two will be mutually beneficial and equal. What you really need to define is the expectations and lifestyle that you want. This will set you on a pathway for success when starting your freelance business. Clearly defining your big picture goals will ensure that you become the kind of freelancer that you desire with the lifestyle to match.